Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost has just made history, successfully landing on the moon and marking a major milestone in commercial spaceflight. This mission proves that private industry can play a crucial role in advancing space technology and shaping the future of lunar exploration. But what makes Blue Ghost's mission so special? How was it executed and what does it mean for the future of space travel? In this video, we'll explore the journey and landing, the groundbreaking scientific objectives, and the broader impact of this mission on lunar exploration. Reaching the moon is no simple feat. Unlike the direct Apollo trajectories, modern lunar landers follow complex orbital paths, requiring multiple stages of calibration and maneuvering. Blue Ghost journey spanned 45 days and covered nearly 400,000 kilometers before reaching its final destination. The mission began on January 15, 2025, with a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. After reaching orbit, Blue Ghost spent 25 days performing system diagnostics before executing a crucial maneuver into lunar transfer orbit. Following a four-day transit, it was captured by the moon's gravity and entered a 16-day mapping phase to identify potential hazards and finalize its landing site. Landing on the moon is among the most challenging aspects of any mission. The surface is an unforgiving terrain filled with craters, boulders, and fine dust that can interfere with landing thrusters. Blue Ghost was equipped with vision-based navigation tools, allowing it to autonomously scan and adjust in real time to ensure a precise descent. On March 2, 2025, at 3.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Blue Ghost began its final descent toward Merkrisium, a vast lunar basin selected for its relatively flat terrain and scientific significance. The lander's engines fired in controlled bursts, slowing it down to three feet per second in the final moments, ensuring a soft touchdown. With this, Firefly Aerospace made history as one of the first private companies to successfully land on the moon. With Blue Ghost safely on the lunar surface, it began its core mission, a 14 Earth Day operation to study the moon's environment, test new technologies, and gather critical data for future lunar missions. The lander carried 10 scientific instruments, each with a specific purpose aimed at improving our understanding of the moon. A key focus was lunar dust, regolith, which poses significant challenges for equipment and astronauts. Blue Ghost carried the regolith adherence characterization source rack experiment to study how dust clings to various materials, informing future moon-based designs. Another important experiment was lunar instrumentation for subsurface thermal exploration with rapidity, Lister, which measured how heat escapes from the moon's interior. This helped scientists understand the moon's geological history and thermal activity. Space weather research was also a priority. The Lunar Environment Heliospheric X-ray Imager, LEXI, captured images of solar wind interactions with Earth's magnetosphere, providing insights crucial for future space travel. Additionally, Blue Ghost tested the Lunar GNSS receiver experiment, which aims to extend GPS-like navigation to the moon. If successful, this technology could revolutionize how future landers, rovers, and astronauts navigate lunar terrain. The success of this mission validates the increasing role of private companies in spaceflight, demonstrating that commercial entities can execute complex moon missions with precision. This mission also aligns with NASA's Artemis program, which is relying on commercial lunar landers to support human exploration of the moon. As competition in the private sector grows, companies like ISPACE, Intuitive Machines, and Astrobotic are all pushing forward with their lunar ambitions, accelerating technological advancements and reducing costs for future missions. Beyond scientific exploration, this mission lays the groundwork for commercial opportunities on the moon, including lunar mining, resource extraction, 
and even future human colonies. With increased interest in lunar commercialization, industries could soon be investing in resource extraction, in situ manufacturing, and long-term habitation, paving the way for an economy beyond Earth's orbit. While Blue Ghost's success is a major milestone, past missions have played a crucial role in shaping modern lunar exploration. Intuitive Machines Odysseus IM-1 in February 2024 marked the first U.S. lander to soft land on the moon since Apollo. It successfully reached the lunar south pole but tipped over upon landing, highlighting the difficulties of lunar surface operations. Similarly, ISPACE's Hakuto-R Mission 1 in April 2023 was an ambitious attempt by a Japanese private company to achieve a soft landing, but communication was lost just before touchdown, demonstrating the risks involved in landing maneuvers. Astrobotics Peregrine Mission 1 launched in January 2024 under NASA's CLPS program also faced challenges when a fuel leak led to mission failure. These setbacks underline the complexities of lunar missions and the necessity for precise engineering and operational redundancy. China's Chang'e 5 mission in 2020 was a government-led success, proving that robotic landers could be used effectively for lunar sample collection. The insights gained from this mission set a precedent for future sample return operations and demonstrated the potential for automated resource extraction. Each of these missions, despite their varying degrees of success, has contributed to refining landing techniques and operational frameworks for future explorations. The future of lunar exploration will be shaped by private-public partnerships. NASA's Artemis missions are expected to rely heavily on commercial lunar landers, paving the way for sustained robotic exploration and eventual human settlement on the moon. With companies like Firefly Aerospace proving their capabilities, we may soon see frequent commercial landings, further integrating the moon into the global economy. Government space agencies will continue to collaborate with private companies to expand access to the moon, making lunar operations more routine and economically feasible. Additionally, the moon is seen as a stepping stone for deeper space missions, including potential Mars expeditions. The success of private landers like Blue Ghost increases confidence in commercial lunar operations, making it more feasible to establish long-term infrastructure on the moon. With an increasing number of players in the space industry, innovation in spacecraft design, propulsion technology, and resource utilization will accelerate making lunar exploration an integral part of humanity's future beyond Earth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Blue Ghost's historic landing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more space updates.